And now I'm going to work on haltering Willie. Wonky is super easy to halter with not an issue at all. Willie's the one that's been a bit more of a challenge. And I haven't been out. We were out of town last week, so it's been two weeks. I don't know if he's been haltered in the meantime, so we'll see. So I just let him touch it. Yes. Okay. And we do a couple touches, and then I'll go into position and put it on. Yes. Good boy. Good job, Willie. But I don't want to just corner him and trap him and make it into a fight. I want him to be pretty willing to halter. And so I'll hold under his cheek and kind of scratch. Good boy. Good job, buddy. And then as I put it, the crown piece over, I say yes. He knows that means a treat is coming. And then I reward. Good job, little donkey. You are a cute little donkey. Yes, you are. Good boy. Good boy. He holds his, or gets a treat once it's all attached. And then I like to work on leading, just following a hand target a little bit when he gets that off first. Just remember that you can move with halter on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Eddie. And these guys are so willing to work for treats. Like, I don't know why more trainers don't use food rewards because they're so cute motivated. They just train like easy and they're so much more fun. And as I progress, we fade the treats. It's not like we have to grab a treat. But in the beginning, to make them, we have nothing intrinsically valuable to them. They have no desire to be around us. So why not buy their effective treats? And then as they get more confident, they start to actually enjoy your attention as well. Um, and then you can fade the treats. But it just makes it so much more pleasant. And you don't have to add 